Hey everyone, this is Alex from AP Auto Art, APAutoArt.com. I thought I would spend a few minutes and go over and break down one of my recent photos. As you can see, this is an image of a Honda Veloster, and I wanted to have kind of a sunset theme under a bridge. I did another shot with it on the bridge, but then we drove down and did this shot underneath it. And uh, yeah, so let's begin. So let's hide the final product and start going through this image. This is the base photo. I shot this with a Canon 5D Mark III 24 to 70 uh, lens with a polarizing circular polarizing filter on it. And uh, yeah, so I actually used four different photos for the base of this image. Uh, originally, I shot this and I felt it looked kind of dead and boring because there was so much just empty space in the foreground. So I ended up finding a random log and dragged it to the car, broke it up into, well, broke the random sticks off of it and had the owner of the car hold it up while I took more photos and actually like how it created this more interest in the foreground and it has that whole lake random nature vibe so it kind of fits with the theme. So <clears throat> aside from this I have two other shots which I got using the polarizing filter and uh, I just liked how it gave natural highlights to the car. So these actually masked in the portions that I liked from both of these and I got that for the base. So after this I just blended all these layers together and started building up the image. After I had my base ready, I moved on to the background. In the background, the first thing I did was uh, spend some time cleaning things up. Like, I didn't like how there were branches coming out of the headlight of the car, so I removed those. Uh, there was a patch of grass here, removed that. Then uh, this random office building there, hid that. And uh, just, yeah, so spent some time with the clone and stamp tools and just went through the whole image and just dialed in the background the way I liked it to be. Uh, after that, I actually used, uh, let's see here, filter, camera raw filter, and added more contrast to the entire image, more clarity, contrast in the settings. And wh what I wanted to achieve with that is creating a mask and to actually just mask out the ground and give the rocks more texture, more visibility, just so they have more dimension and depth to them. Uh, after... I was happy with the ground, I moved on to the sky because I didn't like just how dead it looked. So I actually filled it with a sunset photo that I just snapped after work one day. Uh, yeah, so I just stretched it in there, uh, masked it in, then used the blend modes, uh, let's see here, blend if, and just adjusted the settings between, I think it was just the gray. Yeah, so just the gray channel settings and uh, gray layer settings and just kind of made it blend in more smoothly. After that I started playing around with curves and levels just to darken the image. The levels actually used the red here and made it a little warmer just so the whole background feels more warm and nice. Then I used uh, this green color and just kind of added more green to the actual floor and the background a little bit just to kind of dull it down. Uh, after that, just added more curves to the ground just to kind of make it darker. Let's see here. Then, uh, yeah, more to the floor and a little bit to the sky as well just to give it more dimension. And let's see. Then an exposure layer to uh, darken it a little more and to give it that moodiness. And so, yeah, that's what I did for the background. Moving along to the car. Uh, the first thing I did was using the pen tool, trace around the entire car, creating a mask. Then I created a new group, added the mask to that group, as you can see here, and uh, copied over the flattened base image into that group so it's not affected by all the background adjustments that I have done in the past. Then I started playing around with all the filters and adjustments here. I added a gradient map to brighten up the brakes because they looked a little flat and dead. Uh, here's the settings I did. Just deep red, bright red, and uh, set it to color mode, lower the opacity just so it's subtle, didn't want it to be over the top fake. Then I added two curves, bumping up the shadows and highlights. This is again very simple curve, just a little up, a little down, and painted it in until I was happy with the result. I added another highlight curve to add more emphasis on the wheels and the headlights, just Again, bumped it up a little more actually for the highlights here. But uh, just again, painted it in until I was happy. 
Next, I added an overall highlight, which you can see here. And this was just to kind of make the car have a little more of a brighter tone, just pop a little more from the background and the ground especially. Then I added another uh, curves map to darken some of the sections like this wheel section there and just different parts of the wheels themselves until I was happy. And uh, that's pretty much it. Very simple editing here, just a few curves maps really. The next thing I did was sharpen the entire image. I do this before I add the environment effects because that portion I add highlights to, let's say, the sun and everything, and I just don't want that to be a rough, hard, sharpened portion of the image. So I do this step now. Uh, I use three high pass layers. If you're not sure what that is, go to filter other high pass. There's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to sharpen images using this method. So I'm sure you can find them. Uh, I have three. Started first one, set it to overlay at 60% opacity. The second one is at soft light at 70 and the third one is at 20% on soft light. Uh, within the three layers I actually increase the high pass so let's say you go from 5, 10, 20 or whatever increments you want to go with and I lower the opacity because if you go at full 100 it just looks like a crappy HDR photo and that is not the result I wanted to achieve with this so I just lowered it to 20 so it's still sharp but at the same time it's not over the top crazy HDR sharp uh, same thing I did with the other images just adjusted them to my liking and that's all I did for the sharpened group the last group we have is the environment effects group. Uh, in this group I like to do different curves adjustments and anything else that affects the entire image and to tie it all together. This is especially useful if you're doing composites and you just really want to make the uh, different parts of the image come together. But yeah, so let's begin. Uh, the first thing I did was I added a sun flare. I tried to position this in the original sunset section before we added the sky, so if you can see here. The sun was setting in that portion there, and that's where I kind of added it just so it looks natural and just works with the rest of the image with the shadows and everything else. Then I added a blurred bokeh lens flare effect in the left foreground. I personally just added this for an artistic effect. I like how it looks. I like the cool color that it gives to the image, and so that's why I put that there. Then, let's see, start going through the curves. The first thing I did was add a brighter curve, bumped up the brightness ever so slightly to the whole image just so it's not as dark. And so that's what I did there. Let's see here. This was a, another curves, but this one I actually adjusted the colors to uh, take away from all the reds, just kind of balance stuff out to my liking. Just As you can see, the sky has more blues. And so that's that channel filter. Uh, the next one, again, curves. This one I bumped up the highlights more and uh, just brushed it into my liking just so this portion of the image is more brighter, the sky especially. Then I added uh, the other curves, kind of the same thing except this time I darkened it and went through the ground to kind of make it, well to make it darker, kind of it is darker. And lastly I added uh, another curves, this one was also adjusted for colors and I wanted to kind of give a cool blue fill in the foreground. So I uh, added that nice cold tone here. And that's pretty much it. There you have it. That's the final image. I hope this was informative, maybe somewhat entertaining. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm happy to answer them. Uh, if you enjoy this video, let me know. If you want to see more, I have plenty more <laughs> images that I can make breakdowns to and show you guys how I get the results. This one was a little more simple. Some of them I spend a, quite a bit of time cleaning up, removing reflections if needed, but this one just turned out pretty easy to do. Uh, again, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you all have a good one. See you soon.